Students will be able to use percents to solve real world problems, including finding the percent when given a part and the whole. Teach 5B. Teach 6 5B. A company is producing 50 units of a certain type of product. However, 38% is coming up defective, and the manager has to find out how many of these out of the 50 are becoming defective. This is how they use percentages, parts and whole, in the real world. Okay, let's use our cube strategy to annotate the problem. First, let's start with underlining the question. Write a proportion or an equation to find the percent of each number. Show all of your work. Now, let's box in important words. I would box in proportion, equation, percent. Now, when we set up a proportion, we're going to put our part over our whole. We know that we have a whole of 50 and we're, we have 35% and we know that 35 will be, I mean 38% and 38 will be out of 100. So we have our proportion set up. This is expected of you on your paper. Now let's plug in our information into the model to see what operation is the easiest to solve this problem. It shows us that when we're looking for our part and we're given a percent and a whole, we can multiply the percent by the whole. Now let's do our computation and solve the problem. We set up a proportion with a missing part over over 50 which equals 38 percent out of over 100. Now we cross multiply our cross product and we would end up with 100 times part equals 50 times 38. Now when we multiply 50 times 38, we end up with 1900. We bring everything down and now we want to isolate our variable. When we isolate our variable, we are left with a part of 19. So our, our part is 19 out of a whole of 50. Now we want to check our work by setting up a percent equation and we will just simply multiply the percent by the whole. Now I would want you to convert the percent into a decimal by moving the decimal place two places to the left to convert the percent to a decimal. Now we have 3800 times 50 which is equivalent to 16 and our original answer, our proportion is true. So my teacher expectation for your paper is to have your cube strategies on there. Make sure that I can see your annotations. Set up a proportion before you start working it. Put the given information that you have into the model so you know the best way to solve. Use a proportion to compute and use the percent equation to check your work. Now, let's write a proportion or an equation to find the percent of each number shown. I mean, show all of your work. So let's annotate. We're going to underline write a proportion or an equation to find 
the percent of each number and show all your work. We're going to box in proportion, equation, and percent. Now, let's set up a proportion. We would end up with part over 300 equals 27% over 100%. Now, when we plug this information into our, our model, it'll show us that we can just simply multiply 27% by 300. Let's set up the proportion and solve. Let's use the five steps to solve the proportion. Step one, we will set up a proportion. Step two, we will cross multiply or cross product. When we do this, we will end up with 100p or 100 part, 100 times p or 100 times part equals 300 times 27. Now, when we multiply 300 times 27, we end up with 8100. Now we want to isolate the variable, so we will divide 100 on both sides, and this will leave us with a part is equal to 81. So we would have 81 as our part, 300 as our whole, and this is equivalent to 27% out of 100. Now to check our work. We will multiply 27% times 300. We will convert 27% into 27 hundredths by putting it in decimal form. We will multiply 300 times 27 hundredths and would equal 81. Our proportion is true, our answer is correct. Write a proportion or an equation to find the percent of each number. Show all of your work. Let's start by annotating. We're going to underline the question. Write a proportion or an equation to find the percent of each number. Show all of your work. Now let's box in keywords. I will box in proportion, equation, and percent. Next, I need to set up a proportion. So with the given data of 60% of 75, 60% will be my percent and 75 will be my whole and I'm looking for a part. So I will set up my proportion as part over 75 equals 60% over 100. I will plug in this information into my model. Now I see that all I have to do is multiply 75 by 60% to get my answer. Now I will do my computation. I will set up a proportion and use the five steps to solve. I set up the proportion. I cross multiplied which gave me an equation of 100 times part is equal to 60 times 75. When I multiply 60 times 75, I end up with 4,500. Now I need to isolate my variable by dividing 100 to both sides. Now my variable is, is isolated, it's by itself, and I'm left with parts equal 45. Now I need to check my work. I'm going to use the percent equation and 60% times 75. I will convert 60% into 6 tenths and I will multiply 6 tenths times 75, which will give me 45, which let me know that my proportion is correct and my answer is true.